Tonight I'm joined by a businessman who has turned hard rock into hard cash. Now this guy is a hard worker. I've actually personally have had this, the opportunity to learn a lot from him, to see him rise from nothing to where he is today. His name is Mr. Lebu Kitsane. He's the founder and CEO of Batawung Tombstone Memorial, which he started back in 2004. That's like 12 years ago. He's been in business since the 90s and he grew up from an entrepreneurial family. He has crafted tombstones for the likes of the late great Mr. Fana Kabzela, Vuyo Mbuli, Emmanuel Skarangobese, famous soccer player who passed on in the leftist and most recently added Guguzulu's tombstone and also produced a statue for former president Thabo Mbeki, which he and he handed over to him on his birthday. Mr. Lebukitsana, welcome to Kicking Doors. It, it, it's, a, it's a good thing when you're interviewing somebody that you know. You know you know of their work and they've inspired you for years and we eventually get an opportunity to sit down and have a chat. So it's, it's quite a, a coincidence that this morning on my breakfast radio show, we we're actually having this chat about entrepreneurship. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, thanks for inviting me. And it's always a pleasure. Uh, being interviewed by you. But you know what's nice is not even it's not even me who's inviting you. Mm. It's our team. And it's not like I've instructed them to invite you. It's because of the wonderful work that you're doing. Your business speaks for itself. For somebody who might be watching right now from Ghana, from Kenya, Tanzania, wherever, what do you do? I sell memories, ele everlasting memories for, fa for families in Africa. Okay. Yeah. And how so? Because we're talking tombstones. <coughs> memories in the form of tombstones. We create masterpieces we make the best tombstones in africa in fact in the world so what makes your tombstones the best in the world they are the best because they're characterized we create tombstones that are characterized that talk to people how that i mean if uh, a guy was a soccer player the tombstone will show you you will see that this man was a soccer player if the guy was a, a news anchor you will see Everything is characterized based so, so on a person's character. So I'll come to the tombstone and I'll see, obviously, I mean, I'll see it's written there. It's written there, right? Smoo born this age, died this age, he was a soccer player. Smoo born this day, Smoo was a soccer player. We need to put a photo of Smoo playing soccer. Yeah. We need to put a QR code. We are the first tombstone company in the world to create a QR code. What is, what is a QR code? A QR code is a quick response code where you can scan it. You know these barcodes? Yes. You normally see it them uh, at medicine yeah, every any product has yeah. got a barcode. Now you can scan it with your smartphone. You get all the details of the deceased. The biography, photographs, if the guy was a musician you'll get the music videos. If Whoa. you are a presenter you'll get the uh, uh, my the kicking doors show. Your kicking doors show. shows would be there, but you're not going now. We need <laughs> no, not you. now, not now, no, not now. I need. I still first need to be a billion and change lives and build yeah. universities first. Yeah. yeah, that's what. Okay, so if I go to you know uh, to somebody's tombstone, there's a there's a barcode, a QR code as yeah. you call it. I take out my phone, I scan that. Yeah. I can be able to see this person's life. You can see that person's life because on a tombstone you cannot write everything. Yes, you can only write so much. Born, died. May your soul rest in peace, or Robalaga Khotsom Tau, or Etela Kurula, or one all those things. But with the QR code, you could have more information. The history. The history, because that's important, because you must remember that you cannot live forever, but your history will live forever. What you do will live forever. People die every weekend, which means you'll always be in business. There's a huge influx of companies that are playing a role in that space. How have you been able to navigate the market space? Because it's, it's probably saturated, isn't it? It is saturated, but you have to be different. I'm different. I'm like the Steve Jobs of the Tombstone. Wow. I create things and then everybody else follows. Yeah. Yeah. And I know, uh, unfortunately, during um, my soul rest in peace, my brother Simba's uh, passing, mm -hmm. you also did that, that, um, that mem the, the tombstone. Yes, we did his tombstone. His tombstone has a QR code, all the links of top billing, all his video clips, his photographs, his life history is there. And it's important because hence we say we sell everlasting memories. We want people to know who's this person for generations to come. You also did the late Dr. Stix Morewa. Yeah. And I remember when I was still working for a radio station, YFM, when I was still doing the drive time show, the, you know, before my current breakfast show, you 
basically we're doing um we're raising funds on air on the radio trying to get business people and people to contribute so we can go do it a tombstone for our fallen hero actually the guy who mentored me who gave me a chance my first chance to be on radio his name was Kabzela. Mm -hmm. now you came on board and said you're not going to contribute a thousand or two thousand or whatever you'll give us the best or the biggest tombstone ever mm -hmm. and afana Kabzela, wherever he is right now he's resting in peace on a huge tombstone You've always been giving. What is important about selflessness or giving when you're an entrepreneur? Giving is the most important thing in life because God gives us everything. We always receive from God. Now it's important for us to give other people that are needy because they say we must be blessings to others. Yeah. Yeah. And, and th there's one interesting thing with uh, my brother, the late Guguzul, who's just passed on me, so rest in peace as well. Um, you, you've created something new. You are the first in the world to, to have done that. Yeah. What is that? I did the first tombstone that has a braille for blind people to read it because uh, we realized that blind people, are at a, uh, they've got, uh, they don't have an advantage to read tombstones. Now we had to create the first tombstone in the world that has a braille. Wow. Yeah. So because we saw that, I mean, if a blind person buys a tombstone, they'll only tell him what's written. But if you put a braille, he or she can read the tombstone and see what message they wrote for their loved one. Wow. We, because at the end of the day, our business must accommodate everybody. So you're no longer only doing tombstones anymore. I like it in the morning, you're correcting me. You're like, no, 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 no. I'm not a funeral services company. Mm -hmm. I only offer tombstones. Tombstones, but I But I've added another department to my company, which is? The financial services. Why? Uh, because we're trying to make tombstones more affordable and more accessible to people. Hence, we've got the funeral plan that has a tombstone cover. We pay out cash. We also give a, a tombstone. Because our vision is to see all Africans having their legacy cast in stone. How difficult was it for you to start this business? Hey, it was not easy because it's initially, this business is dominated by white people. Yeah. And uh, all the mines are owned by white people. All the huge factories are owned by white people. And uh, to, for you to come in as a black player, it's not easy because these people have been in that business for 50 years, 60 years. 100 years. 100 years. Now, you come in, in you, the only thing that will make you succeed is when you improve when you do things that the white people are not doing because all of them you've seen one you've seen them all then but came in we saw we conquered and you're currently even conquering the white market because you know we're living in a democratic um, country yeah. and you're offering services to a multiracial market yes we bought a company called west hyper tombstones okay so you've just acquired west we hyper. acquired west two years ago west uh, has been in existence for 32 years and when they wanted to sell, they approached me. They said, Lebo, would you like to buy West? I said, why not? Because West was my b major competitor. Yeah. Now. You've swallowed everyone. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd say you're the number one tombstone I'm company I'm the number one Africa tombstone now. company in Africa because I deliver in Gabon, Zambia, Kenya, Botswana, Lesotho, Swaziland. Wow. And how is it navigating in those uh, markets in other African countries? It's not easy. It's through internet. I mean, most of our clients, we get them through internet because our website rankings are good and we get a lot of page reviews because of the designs and what we do. Yeah. And right now, we also st want to start creating legacies for people. Even if you are alive, we must start now talking about things, creating statues for people because we just did a statue for uh, former President Tawambeki for his birthday. We gave it to him. It was beautiful. It I is beautiful. I need my own statue, man. You I must, mean, because, <laughs> I mean, you're a legend. Are they, you know what I mean? Thank you. I don't want you. us to honor you when you are gone. We need to honor you now. Why give someone uh, roses if they can't smell them? Wow. You've done extremely well, my brother, and I'm really proud of you. To see you over the years keep growing and, you know, you adding all sorts of different layers into your business. And just quickly before I let you go, you as a family man. How, dif how difficult is it to balance the husband, the father, and, you know, with the, the entrepreneur? It's not difficult because uh, you need to be focused. You need to be the dad. You need to be that cool dad. Yeah. You need to <laughs> spend time with your kids. You need to dab with your kids. You <laughs> yeah. need to chill with them, travel with them, spend time with your wife, be a good husband. Yeah. But if you're focused in your business and if you're focused on your uh, family yeah. life, 
Everything is, it balances because as long as you involve God in everything that you do, everything just works out. And you've got a supportive family. I've got a very supportive family. My wife is very supportive. I would tell her my dreams. She'll support me. Wow. All the time. And even when times are tough, she's there. She says to me, no, let's go. Because entrepreneurship can be a lonely journey sometimes. It's a lonely journey. And at home, we've got a prayer room. Wow. Whenever, every morning, my wife goes into the prayer room, I'll hear her praying, and then I'll go in also and pray. And that's the whole plan because I don't have a bar at home. I've got a prayer room. Wow. He doesn't have a bar at home. He's got a prayer room. Now, before we let him go, we're going to ask him to give us his 60 seconds to success, just like we always do with all of our successful guests. Mr. Lebo, I'm going to ask you to look at that camera over there and give our aspiring entrepreneurs or our current young entrepreneurs out there your 60 seconds to success message starts now. My father, Brad Jake, Jacob Alfred Mukiti Khitan, used to say, money and woman are par. You will never have them both. If you want to be successful, focus on one thing, which is making money, the right woman will come along. And also love what you do, because if you love what you do, it will love you back. You must just focus and love it. Mr. Lebu Kizane, thank you so much. Thank you, my brother.